The Bible clearly teaches us about the time of Jesus' second coming. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. When Jesus' disciples asked him 2,000 years ago concerning the Lord's coming, his second coming, he told them to learn the lesson from the fig tree. The reason we have to pay attention to the parable of the fig tree is that the budding of the fig tree represents the time of Jesus' second coming. Then, what does the fig tree specifically represent? And when is the time its twigs will get tender and its leaves come out? The fig tree is commonly seen in the nation of Israel. The Israelites used to rest under the fig tree. They would eat the fruit, whether fresh or dried, and even baked it into bread. That is how familiar the fig tree was to the Israelites. Jesus gave a parable using the fig tree that is commonly seen in the nation of Israel. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. For three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, leave it alone for one more year. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. The fig tree was to be cut down because its owner could not find any fruit on it for three years. What does the fig tree represent? This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Like these good figs, I regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I sent away from this place to the land of the Babylonians. According to the Bible, the fig tree stands for the nation of Israel, and the man in the parable looking for fruit represents Jesus. In actuality, Jesus was baptized at the age of 30 and preached the gospel of the new covenant for three years but he was rejected and even suffered on the cross. The fig tree that was to be cut down for not bearing fruit for three years was a prophecy about the destruction of the nation of Israel for rejecting Jesus. By the words of Jesus, the nation of Israel was cursed like the fig tree that had withered. In AD 70, the siege on Jerusalem began. Titus, son of Emperor Vespasian, besieged Jerusalem with his army of 14 legions. The temples, the city walls, the entire city were burned down, leaving only dirt. 1.1 million died. 97,000 were taken as captives. In AD 70, after the invasion of Rome, the people of Israel became wanderers of the world without a country of their own.
the nation of Israel became the withered fig tree, just as Jesus prophesied. Being labeled as the murderers of Jesus, the people of Israel were discriminated and oppressed by other nations. They even experienced the massacre of six million Jews during World War II by the Nazis. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. This was also in accordance with the prophecy of Jesus. However, On May 14th, 1948, the Declaration of Independence shouted throughout the world. By the United Nations resolution, it was declared that we establish a country of our own and call it Israel. The Jews that wandered around the world for 1,900 years returned to Palestine and re-established the nation of Israel. Returning to their fatherland after 1,900 years was a miracle that cannot be found in any country or even in all human history. Then what is the amazing providence of God within the history of Israel's independence? Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. The time when the twigs of the fig tree get tender and its leaves come out. It was 1948 when the nation of Israel, described as the fig tree, gained its independence. The second coming of Christ already came and has been knocking on the door of our hearts. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. When he comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you.
the second coming Jesus, who was to appear in 1948, must bring back the new covenant that he preached and practiced at his first coming. Who is he? He is the one that was baptized at the age of 30 in 1948 and began his gospel life as the spiritual king of Israel. He is the second coming Christ, An Sang Hong. Christ An Sang Hong restored the truth that was in ruins, established the Church of God, and built the foundation of the path of life for all mankind. 